Hello everybody. So I am here. I'm going to talk about virtual VBS at Murphy Church. So here we go. Um, so we are learning about this week. It's our second week of VBS and we are learning about how to focus and take a closer look at things. And so um, it's been a great week. We've had so much fun and so we're excited to continue. So um, for any of you kids that are watching, I hope y'all are having a great time and y'all are just having fun watching it from your own home. So what's been y'all's like favorite thing? So has it been um, being able to uh, watch it from your PJs? Maybe you've just laid in your PJs and have had fun watching virtual VBS from your own home. Maybe it's you've had your family with you to watch it maybe your dog or something like that. So what's been your favorite thing about uh, virtual BBS? So um, feel free to comment or uh, just tell us, you know, tag us in pictures. We would love to see your crafts that you're making and all those type of things because yeah, that's how we stay connected with you guys. So um, anyways, so um, this week, um, we uh, had a game in the beginning of the video called um, Focus, um, let's see, it was called Focus Cup Shuffle, that's what it was. So, did anybody get that right? Anybody, anybody? So, they had like, I think a ping pong ball and they were switching it and so I'm always terrible at those games and so I did not do a great job at that. So, anyways, but... Um, so that was the game in the beginning and so it's just teaching us about what it means to focus on something and to take a closer look um, as we followed that ball to see where it was going to go and end up and so it was pretty tricky I'll be honest. So anyways, but yeah. So this week we also talked um, about a story that was found in, does anybody know what book of the Bible it was found in? Anybody, anybody? So it was found in the book of the Bible, Matthew. Okay, so one of the Gospels in the New Testament. So that is what the Gospel um, was, or the Matthew, oh, the, the chapter of the book was. So, anyways, so yeah, the verse talked about how um, when people hear God's words and listen to them, it's like a man building his house on a. Anybody know? It's something sturdy, so it is a rock, okay? So how it, he compared the rock and building a house and listening to God and um, and so building a house on a rock. And so, and then, um, and then if people are not like following Jesus' words and how those things are, then they are, it's more like building their house on sand, which... We all know we've probably been to the beach, right? Where you build your sand castles and they're like this awesome creation that you made. And lo and behold, the tide starts coming and what happens? Oh, your poor, beautiful sand castle gets destroyed, right? So, yeah, so it's very similar. And they gave that uh, show and tell kind of thing of what it looks like to build a house on a rock versus sand. So, you know, rock is so much sturdier and things like that. And so, yeah. So, um, anyways, a couple of shout outs. I see that Abby is watching and Stephanie. Hey guys. So, um, y'all, I am not Patrick, obviously. So Mr. Patrick couldn't do it today. So it is recap with Miss Ash today. So anyways, I'm so glad y'all could join us. Um, so anyways, so yeah, so that was the Bible story, which is so cool and such a great reminder. And so I, um, I hope that y'all enjoyed it this week and cause it just shows about how we can trust God. And one of those ways it's, you know, sometimes hard because we don't see God in person, but it just talks about how we can look in the Bible and that his words are clearly in the Bible and how he speaks. And so and when we personally have him and our, as our savior, then we have his Holy Spirit that dwells in us that can guide us to truth and light. So anyways, but yeah, so I thought this week's lesson was so good and so great. And so I hope each and every one of y'all enjoyed it. 
and it was fun and um, I think they're doing such a great job and I enjoy the music and oh my goodness those people have some energy because they are killing it on the stage because they're doing so many moves and stuff and so it's super fun to watch I don't do the moves all yet <laughs> I, I know a few but um, yeah so um, anyways and the skit is pretty fun too and funny they have great things right there so anyways but yeah so I hope y'all are enjoying it I would love to see pictures of y'all's crafts if y'all made your crafts this week this week it was a kaleidoscope and a fidget spinner so for you elementary kids so yeah so if y'all made those feel free to take a picture and tag it um, with Murphy Church and so we can see it and comment and your friends can see it too so um, because yeah those fidget spinners and those kaleidoscopes are pretty cool so and get ready because we have a different one next week which reminds me so on Sunday we have um, children's church at our normal church time online at two o'clock so y'all feel free to jump on and mr. Patrick will be back with you guys and then on Mondays we have your zoom calls so this is a huge opportunity for you guys to see your friends and so come and see your friends and be able to talk with them or me or Miss Allison, Mr. Patrick or one of your teachers maybe that you've had in Sunday school. So hop on, you have uh, certain times for your age groups and so you'll be getting an email um, or your parents will, let's face it, they get the email and they can help you get set up on a Zoom call so we can see you guys. So yeah, and then um, we would also uh, love to keep having you join us on Wednesdays watching the videos with us and learning the music and the motions to it, hearing the great Bible stories and the skits and just learning what it means to take a closer look and to focus on things. So, and focus on the Lord and Jesus. So, um, so yes. And then next Friday, hopefully Mr. Patrick can be with you guys, but if not, then y'all get to hang out with me again. So yeah. Well, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm so glad that I got to hang out with y'all for a few minutes. Um, do something fun. It's hot outside, right? So anything that can cool you down sounds great right now. Swimming is one of the nicest things that we can do in the summertime, right? So anyways, I hope y'all are doing well and I can't wait to see you guys and y'all just have a great week. All right, bye guys.